<laughs> oh my god. Yo. <laughs> what up? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. A and W. I got A and W. I got two team burgers. That's the single patty with the bacon, the cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, sauces, I think mustard, ketchup, mayo, maybe. I think it is. I'm not really 100% sure, but it is what it is, what it is, what it is. Did I just get hit in the face with gravy off of, off of a poutine? Mm. Oh my God. This is a poutine. Let's honor it. Let's just hit it right quick. Hello. Cheese curd. Fries. Proper cheese curd. With fries and salty, salty gravy. Goodness gracious me. Now, I know. Mm. That you guys love to hear. Stories from me. Of my life and my real life and this, that and the other. And that's fine. I do share those. And there's more to come, but. I mean, this is a story. It's more of an experience, I guess. But that's what I'm going to share on this video is that have a look at the burger. As some of you may know, a little bit I was sick like down and out type sick <laughs> and so during that time I had a lot of time to burn I had a lot of things to do. I had a lot of, not things to do, just time to burn. Shows to watch, things to keep me occupied is more what I meant. And uh, I did that by going to sites that offer me free streaming you know movies and shows and whatever so ask me why I don't know but it is a thing it's true uh, <laughs> I am highly intrigued by reality TV not like the Kardashians and that shit I hate hearing women argue I like like Survivor and like Big Brother and like just like these social uh, observational type shows like basically males and females coming together with a twist whatever that twist may be usually sexual <laughs> and so on that note within my chilling and sickness and like abstaining from alcohol due to my sickness etc etc having no life having no actual 
go out and you know try to be with women or whatever i found myself you know looking for entertainment and i stumbled across 2019 temptation island <laughs> now As a grown man, I heard Temptation Island and I thought, I've heard that before somewhere. I'm not really sure, but I've definitely heard that before somewhere. And in my head, I was like, I'm certain that that used to be a show around the time of Survivor when I was like, you know, young as shit. All right. Whatever, whatever. I'm sold. I'll watch it. So I start watching 2019 <laughs> Temptation Island. Because I, like I said, I'm a sucker for Bachelor, Bachelorette. Doesn't matter. There's something about adult human beings that are like perfect specimens <laughs> vying for each other's attention and acting a certain way. I mean, pretty much for each other's recognition. It's like ultimately this shit's always going to go bad, but there's just something about these like perfect specimens you know, going for each other, right? So I jump in, I start watching. And, uh, it's exactly what you would expect. It's all the ripped bodies, the shallow people, the this, that, and the other. Very LA Hollywood. But what's the most crazy about it? Is kind of two things in different contrast. The first thing is, I don't know if it's just me, like, or life in general or people in general, but it's like, when you see somebody who's like your same age or older than you or younger than you, maybe I have an inability to see myself as the age that I am, I don't know. But it's weird and crazy, like, I feel like sometimes you'll see somebody like way younger than you and you'll be like, they look way older than me. <laughs> or you'll see somebody way older than you. And you're like, they look younger or they even like, wow, they look old as shit. Or even somebody, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's like age is such a weird thing. It's almost like you never... I'll be watching a show and it's like so and so and so and so or that show what should say and so and so is this age and it's like really they were 24 because I thought they were 40 like it just it's crazy it's just weird 
So anyways, I watched that whole season. I got so addicted. I just like, I crushed, you know, in my time of doing nothing, I crushed the new season of Temptation Island, except for the the final episode because it's like not out yet. But if there's anybody in my audience that watches it, please, you know, say down below what you think is going to happen. But then, so that got me to thinking and remembering about Temptation Island and my immediate thought was correct is that it did exist back in the day around survivor time and so Because of that, that turned me on to seeking the 2001, 2002 version of Temptation Island. I legitimately want to do like a reaction series <laughs> to the episodes from the early 2000s. Like, it's insane. What's crazy about the difference between the two is that seeing like, okay, the camera quality, like the camera quality of 2001 to now to 2019, it's like back in 01, they had to film out of a helicopter to get aerial shots. Now you have like a drone that takes amazing shots back then it was like a helicopter with something that was worse than an iphone it's like digital it's pixelated it's so bad just the camera quality between the two is insane within 18 years it's, it's fucking crazy the other most insane part about it is actually I'd probably say just like the difference between like what they're allowed to show on TV in terms of like sexuality. If you go to the new one, the new one's like, inf you know, infrared or like night vision cameras, everybody's mic'd up. It's like there, you can like watch people almost have sex and like all you can hear everything. They say, like, Oh, I can't wait for you to be inside me. And like all this really sexual shit and like naked, almost like naked together in the pool with like a blurred out. Da, 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 da. Back in the day, in like the 0102, it was like. when shit like that was first getting on TV. I don't think they had the clearances for that type of sexuality, like on some real shit to be shown on TV. So it's like the worst things that could happen were like, like a dude like doing a strip tease, just taking his shirt off and like <laughs> twisting it around or like uh, a girl like taking her clothes off to her bikini and like jumping in a pool with a guy like it was so so different it's just so crazy to see the difference between now and then And to see how much like sex sells and also how like the the level like the line of that sexuality how far it's been pushed to the point where it's like tv like just tv now is basically like softcore porn or even further 
just to give you, you know what I mean? Compared to back in that time. <clears throat> the other obvious thing to state would be that like the style so crazy to see the different style of like clothing, aesthetic choices, like clothing, hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, sunglasses, everything completely different than to now. To the point where I think it would be hilarious to do like a reaction video to like talk about the style from that time to now. Like I really think it would be hilarious. It was actually crazy. It's like legitimately fucked. Because that doesn't seem that long ago. But I guess it's almost 20 years. And in t Holy fuck. In 20 years, a lot can change. So, But anyways. It's an ongoing cycle. It'll always happen. It'll always be a thing. Nothing stays the same. It always progresses and goes on. So, anyways, till the next one. That's me being buzzed, talking about whatever the fuck I'm talking about, and uh, having a good one by, by my own damn self. So, I hope you appreciate it too. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.